All right, guys, this is the safety key in AutoCAD. Notice I already have my layers set up. I'm going to draw my construction layer using construction line, which is the one with two arrowheads. All right, I'm going to offset the length of the front view, which is 4 and 11 sixteenths, 4.6875. Then I'm going to offset 0.125 for the space in between. And then the width of the entire thing is 2 and 3 eighths. So all I'm doing to recycle the command is pressing enter and 2 and 3 eighths is 2.375. Enter, click, enter. If I press enter again, like I said, it recycles the command. So now I'm going to do the height, 1.875, 1 and 7 eighths. Enter, enter again, 1.25, enter, 2.375. And I know this is right because I have two perfect squares here. Then I switch to my object layer, make sure my object snap is on, click line, click the corners, and outline my boxes. Right click enter, right click again, repeat line. Right click enter, right click repeat line. Right click enter, right click repeat line. And I'm actually going to draw this projection line right here uh, because I may need to project from the top to the side view in this drawing. So now I'm going to turn off my construction lines and I'm back just working with my object lines. This part here, offset, comes over 1 and an eighth, 1.125. Okay. And the part that looks like a rocket, this comes up, offset, enter, comes up also 1 and an eighth, 1.125. Okay. And that's the entire height because it's got this cutout thing that is going on. So we can go offset. Uh, from here to where the hole is, is 1 and 3 eighths. Okay, and the hole comes up 9 sixteenths is 0.5625. I'm going to draw, go ahead and draw the whole center diameter and the diameter is 0.5. Okay, I'm going to start trimming this because it's getting kind of sloppy. Select this as a boundary, right click, get rid of these things, enter, repeat trim, pick this as a boundary, right click, Get rid of that, right click enter, right click repeat trim, click this, right click enter. Okay, now it's kind of looking what it needs to look like and I can get rid of this by just clicking on it and pressing delete and same here. Now, a lot of this stuff, I don't know, I could offset it out but it'll just be easier to project it from the top view so I'm not gonna really mess with it. Okay, so we're just going to work on the top view. So I'm going to click on line and I'm going to project this up. Okay, and now the width of this part in the middle that makes it look like a rocket, for lack of a better term, is 1 and 3 eighths and it's dead center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to object snap. I'm going to right click on object snap and I'm going to click on midpoint. And midpoint is represented with a triangle. So I'm going to draw that line straight back. And I'm going to offset this half of that distance. I offset this half of 0.138. So AutoCAD doesn't do what you want it to do. So I'm going to open up calculator. 1.375 divided by 2 is 0 0.6875. So I'm going to offset. 0.6875. Click this guy, click that guy. Okay, and then I'm going to trim. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to trim again using these as the boundaries. Right click, select what you want to get rid of. And now I'm going to do the angle. To do an angle in AutoCAD, you click on Line. You click where you want the angle to start. Then you press down Shift and Comma, and that's Angle Override. And this angle is actually 30 degrees because it's 60 degrees for the whole thing, but we're drawing it from the bisector. 30 degrees. See how it says angle override? And you click, press enter, line again, click here. Now, if this is 30 degrees, this is going to be 180, 150. So shift, comma, 150. There you go. There's your angle, trim, pick this, pick that, right click, okay, we're going to delete this guy, we're going to trim again, pick the angles, right click, get rid of this stuff, that's not going to let me trim it because it just needs to be deleted. To get this point down in the front view, I just bring that down. And then I offset 7 16ths, which is 0 0.4375.